Hello fellow travelers and welcome to Exit Through the Gift Shop. Today we're at Coquihalla Canyon Provincial Park to check out the Othello Tunnels. Getting to the tunnels is easy, it's just a short walk from the nearby parking area. In 1914, engineers blasted five tunnels through solid granite to complete the construction of the Kettle Valley Railway Line. So just entering the tunnel here now, and you can see that this is blasted just right out of solid rock. Four of these tunnels are true tunnels. One of the tunnels is actually not a true tunnel because it has uh, open air uh, windows and light on the side. We'll check that one out in a minute. They do recommend that you bring a flashlight along because it is quite dark in here. There's no natural light at this point and no artificial light either. So make sure you bring a flashlight if you're going to explore the tunnels. <laughs> so in the, inside the tunnel I'm getting hit with drops of moisture. Makes me wonder about the overall stability of the tunnel and whether or not there's a bit of a rock fall hazard as well. Just emerging from the first tunnel and up ahead you can actually see the next two tunnels. The next one is blasted right out of the granite and the one further down you can see has been reinforced with an archway. The tunnel walk provides spectacular views of the Coquihalla Canyon and the Coquihalla River running through it. It's actually a nice cool place to visit in the summertime because of the, uh, the running water. Up on the roof you can see the steel beams that have been added for reinforcement as well as the uh, wire mesh that have been added for safety uh, in case of rock falls. The tunnels are connected by a series of wooden trestles. These aren't the original trestles but have been added as part of the conversion of this area to a provincial park. The third tunnel has a series of open air windows which helps provide light and you can see how these uh, were reinforced within the rock wall that had been blasted away. Also note that the tunnel had been reinforced in 1934 so these are some of the original structures. The tunnels were named by engineer Andrew McCullough, who was an avid Shakespeare fan and used names like uh, Romeo and Juliet and Othello and Lear to uh, name different places in the area. It's incredible how quickly the air temperature drops once you get inside the tunnel. Even though it's quite a hot day outside today, uh, it is uh, a little chilly inside the tunnel and a nice way to cool off. The tunnels and trestles are maintained as part of the provincial park, unlike the nearby Ladner Creek trestle, which sits abandoned. We recently gave that a visit and I'll post a link to that as well so you can check it out. So there it is. I would highly recommend that you check out the Othello tunnels. The scenery is spectacular, the tunnels are amazing, and it's one of the coolest uh, attractions that you can find just outside of the Vancouver area. The tunnels are closed in the winter time due to ice and falling rock hazards, uh, but are open during the summer from April to October. All right, that's it for today. Please subscribe so you can stay up to date on all our latest adventures and check out the interactive map if you uh, want to look at the other cool places that we've been to. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.